Welcome to the October 2016 CV News. In October, CV held their General Assembly and Policy Conference promoting inclusion and preventing extremism. In the General Assembly, four policy statements were approved and they will be published soon. And the PIPE publications showcase projects, organisations and initiatives with the objectives to promote inclusion and prevent extremism involving volunteers. You can see the PIPE publication here and the PIPE conference conclusions and report will be available soon. To celebrate International Volunteer Day and the end of London's year as European Volunteering Capital 2016, Team London will host their first ever International Volunteer Conference. You can find out more here. The two candidate municipalities in the 2018 European Volunteering Capital Competition presented their activities and strategies on the 13th of October in the reception at London House. On the 12th of October, CV collaborated with the ALDI Group in the European Parliament for a European level event focused on how volunteering strategies at local and national level collect with EU policies and programmes. CV's five R's policy priorities were presented. The CV director shared her expertise during the European Volunteering Forum that took place in Maribor, Slovenia. You can watch the recording of the session here. And CV's president, Christina Rigman, spoke about why London was named European Volunteering Capital 2016 during the European Citizenship Awards ceremony in London. And the CV director contributed with CV's five R's at the IVE conference on 2nd of September, where 60 organisations and institutions gathered to summarise the final results of the project about youth competencies in work camps. In October, CV welcomed a group of 18 volunteers from the non-profit sector from Macedonia during a study visit organised by Out of the Box International. And even member Kellogg set out their new goals and announced their new initiative to have more employee volunteers helping and supporting nutrition across the world. CV team is supporting Tandem, an initiative co-led by refugees aimed at enhancing their integration in Belgium by creating opportunities for volunteering in European level NGOs. You can read more here. In EU news, the creation of the new European Solidarity Corps has been launched and CV have asked some questions for clarification about how the differences between employment, traineeships, apprenticeships and volunteering will be within the scheme, what is the involvement of the for-profit sector and why is there a suggestion that young people cannot be highly trained specialists. You can read more about the European Solidarity Corps here. The draft report on the implementation of the regulation of the European Parliament for establishing Erasmus Plus can also be read, and the Europe for Citizens programme newsletter, who is the funder for the operating grant for CEV, can also be read here. In other news, you can see the graphic for the 100 years of transnational volunteering, published by Salto Youth, and you can read the SEDI Fox thematic report for the European Inventory on the Validation of Non-Formal and Informal Learning. The Kyoto magazine, published by the Council of Europe and the European Commission, was issued focusing on how inclusive the youth programme Erasmus Plus is. And you can find the new handbook for Youth Pass that's been published. You can also register online for the World Forum for Democracy 2016. Thank you for reading the October 2016 CV News.